Only the toughest and the talented have made it through to Super Sunday at the 2023 Canada Open. Now comes the final reckoning. You'll see all five showpiece matches live. Welcome to Calgary. And here's our home for these matches. It's the Wind Sport Events Centre, a superb venue that can seat 3,000. And we've got an excellent crowd in today. And that crowd includes our volunteer, Paula Sevier, who's bringing in the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals trophy. Really prestigious event held just before Christmas. The top eight from each of the five disciplines, massive prize money, huge prestige, and you can watch it all live with us. Thank you, Paula. Before then, there's a little matter of sorting out the winners for today in this uh, Super 500 event. We start with the three doubles finals. First, the men, an all Danish affair with Astrup and Rasmussen bidding for a fourth World Tour title. Then it's the women with top seeds Matsuyama and Shida who came back from the dead in their semi facing Matsumoto and Nakahara in a repeat of the Thai Open final six weeks ago. The mixed is next and it looks too close to call. Either Turi and Magaland or Midorikawa and Saito will win their first major title. Then stand by for the 25th meeting between world number one Akana Yamaguchi and Ratchanok Intadon. Intriguingly, the tie has won the last two. And we conclude with the men's singles. Li Shifeng of China, who raced through his semi yesterday against the unseeded but hugely dangerous Indian, Lakshya Sen. Here's the way that that men's doubles draw was panned out and produced this all Scandinavian final. The pairs from Japan and Chinese Taipei going by the wayside in the semis yesterday. And here's the current standings in the race to those World Tour finals I was just speaking about. Only two nations, or only two pairs from any one nation, can be represented. At the moment, Liang and Wang of China leading the way. So our players are on the way for our opening final, which is the men's doubles. I don't think that too many at the start of the week would have predicted an all Danish men's doubles final. I certainly wouldn't. My name's Trevor Harris, Sean May Reeves alongside me. I don't think you would either, would you? <laughs> he, was, he was wondering where to go through the smoke there, I think, Kim Astro. They've never played before, actually, intriguingly, these two Danish pairs. Sure, there might have been some uh, practice together along the way, but not in an official competition. Confirmation that they've never met before. Red or black would like to choose? Red. Red. Black for you. Black. Fabio Beto Red there is the Kim serving. umpire for this one. Always a big moment for umpires as well to get to officiate a final. So let's give you a bit more information then on uh, this quartet. Starting with Rasmus Kier, they are ranked Currently at 38, which is just about their best to all intents and purposes. They won four international tournaments last year, one of which was here in Canada, but obviously this is a big step up, this Super 500 event. And they have landed a trophy this year, the Denmark Masters. Sogard there actually won a silver in the World Junior Championships back in 2015 in the boys' doubles, but that was with a, a different partner, it wasn't with Kiet. Taken to three games yesterday by Koga and Saito. You might have seen that with us. It was hugely entertaining. And just about got over the line 21-19 in the third game. And on the other side of the net, Kim Astrup and Anders Rasmussen. 
31 now, Astra. Their biggest title as a pair so far was the China Open five years ago. That's a Super 1000. They've won a couple of other Super 300s. But it's been two years where the mantelpiece has been bare. So Astra and Rasmussen there hoping to put that right today. Got to the quarterfinals at the Tokyo Olympics. It did win the European Games last month, but otherwise just a couple of quarterfinals this year. So it's uh, a welcome return to form. And as you can see there, they really haven't been extended at all. That was something of a surprise win for a lot of observers in the semi against Lee and Wang. And in 33 minutes too. That's Fabio Beto from uh, Italy in the umpire's chair and he will be assisted by uh, Amanda Ballam from England. I'll be assisted by Charmaine Reid. And just looking at this matchup, it's, it's quite hard to kind of find a favourite. I, I guess Astrup and Rasmussen, the more experienced pair, you'd probably give them the edge on paper, but just don't know in a final. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kim Astrup and Anneskor Rasmussen, Denmark. And on my left, Rasmus Kerr and Frederik Sergård, Denmark. Kim Astrup to serve to Rasmus Kerr. Love all. Play. So Kim Astrup gets us underway then on finals day. One. Straight away decently from Rasmussen. Tent. One, two. Here with the very powerful jump smash. Out. Out. So it's over three, one. sure how many lengthy rallies we're going to get with these four because very powerful men and, and very delicate and subtle at the net as well. So it'll be interesting to see who gets the early initiative here this final. Right Yeah, well, 
anticipated. He was there in a flash. Kim Astrup. Five, two. Well, Kiev's no slouch either. It's all the opportunity, easy kill on the backhand. Power and accuracy from Sogard. That was seven. arrow straight down the line. Four seven. Ah. We'll have sore arms, won't that line, Judge? Eight. Carrying the greater threat Nine, at the moment, aren't they, Astrup and, and Rasmussen? Just a little bit of a hurry up from umpire Fabio Better. Ah! 
It's long, long again, though. So it's over, 11, 7, into it. So a handy lead, four points the difference as they go for the mid-game break with Astrup and Rasmussen having their noses in front. Excellent intervention so there by uh, eight, Sogard. 12. <laughs> so it's a bit of an open invitation, really. So over, 13, 8. Yes, oh God, shown us an uh, enormous amount of finesse all week. For the, just about the first time, a little bit of uh, communication Eleven, trouble third. for the number three C's, Astrid and Rasmussen. That'll be the easiest kill that Kier will have all day. Fire! This is a spirited little mean comeback from Kier and Sogard. Well, the first time in this final, we're going to have uh, Hawkeye in action. Each pair has two challenges per game. If they're correct, they keep that challenge. It's a slightly late call by the uh, 
by Judge. And uh, well, he's been eating his carrots, hasn't he? Successful. That's an One excellent challenge remaining. Excellent line call. 15. Certainly 12. understand the challenge. Blake. It must be really satisfying, especially when it's that close. Service over, 13-15. Yeah, just for a moment, I think, <laughs> look on Kiev's face. He thought the point was going to go the other way, but this is correct. of the hairpins and the number three seeds come out on top big point that would have got Kier and Sogod back to just a, a single point behind coming towards the business end of this opening game Service over, 14, 17. Service over, 18-14. That has hit me in the eye. 40. You okay? Yeah, one second, yeah. Okay? Back. Try to receive. 19, 40. Service over 15 90. Well, that service error just gives Pierre and Sogard a glimmer here, trying to get back into this. Well, beautiful little soft shot from Rasmussen, setting up, uh, from Astrup rather, setting up his partner, and also setting up five game, game points. Point 15. Seventeen twenty. 
That's three Eight, saved. Twenty. Two to go. Starting to get a little nervy. Number three seeds. This is a really spirited effort from Kier and Soka. 20. Four game points saved. Get ready. It wasn't exactly mission impossible, but it was highly unlikely. Can they get us to 20 all? <laughs> yes, they can. But it's going to be going to be challenged just for a bit more drama. I, I'm not sure this is going to work. This might just be a because we can type challenge, but we'll see. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Twenty all. So. <laughs> well, under the circumstances, that was a, a really so well played point by Astrup and Rasmussen because who knows what was going through their head after seeing five game points come and go, but here's another one. And that finally, Predator well, I say finally, <laughs> because we'll have to see whether Hawkeye agrees, but as we stand, it's uh, Astrup and Rasmussen's point. We clip the line. No, we're near it. <laughs> Back we come. <laughs> Service over. 21 all. So having saved six game points, Pierre and Sogard now have one of their own. 22, 21. A little bit of tension out there now, clearly. Friday, quick what a place. psychological boost it would be for those two if they could take this opening game after looking pretty much down and out. And they have another chance to do just that. So it's over. 23-22. Second game point. So a little bit of cat and mouse going on out there now as well. Astrup, the one who kept his cool, particularly in that rally. Rasmussen also very solid. So 
minutes over, 24-23. So a third chance for the unseeded pair to take this opening game. <laughs> Got help from his partner. They didn't need any more help. <laughs> what an amazing point. What an amazing way to seal the opening game. 25-23 for Kier and Sogar. He was down, but he certainly wasn't out. coaches down there of course because from the same country so they need to sort it out much themselves i wonder what's going through astrid and rasmus has had no really six opportunities they couldn't take any of them and that error from uh, rasmus at the end ending their interest in an opening game Second game, love all, play. So first blood to the unseated pair. Can they keep the heat on? That's good lead in the end. So we saw had to dance around that uh, shuttle, did Kim Astro? Nailed down the line. Serby Silver, one, all. Serby yeah. Silver, two, one. Service over, two, three. <laughs> Subtle touch three, from oh. Rasmus Kier.
Service over, four, three. Started when uh, Kier treated the uh, flick serve with utter disdain. Just gave Service the four unseeded pair eight. the upper hand in that rally from the get go. Marks for effort, Kia. <laughs> Thirty silver. That's true. Five, not to be denied. Four. Gave Sogard a shout about then, and he decided to play Seven, it anyway. Sogard. And I think that is the right thing if you, if you are on short, you play it, even if your partner reckons it's going wide. So it's over eight five. That was before. Before your service. No, that was before your service. Play on. No, that's during service it's a fault. Before he can move, during service is a fault. Play on. Umpire's decision final though. I just gotta put it out of his head now. Yeah. Service errors in the lot. In fact, the last two serves, I think.
Well, both so teams have tried to flip serve on a few occasions. Sure, seven. it's really a tactic that's working for either of them at the moment. So they're four points down here, and uh, so God, mind you, they were four points down at the end of the first game at the mid or the mid uh, session of the first game, and still came back to win it. So certainly wouldn't write them off. But Astrup and Rasmussen in charge at the moment in terms of uh, trying to level the match. Twenty Certainly one of the longest rallies of the match so far. Yep. So Kier and Sogard have won the first three points since they came back from that interval. Just following exactly the same pattern as the, the first game. Eleven. That just to stop the rock. That's for Ben Anderson having lost five points on the spin. of playing it, he wasn't properly balanced and he played a, a terrific shot. Whoa! 
Silver, 14, 15. Of the ball. Saw the opportunity and he was there Four. in position so quickly. nowhere to go did he Frederick Sogard so closing in then potentially Astrup and Rasmussen on this second game five game points although it's exactly the position that they had in the first game and they couldn't convert game point 15 come back from the dead once they do it again if they win the next couple of points there'll be some seeds of doubt in Astrup and Rasmussen's heads that's for sure oh, yeah. well, that's not going to happen so 21-16 it is and we are going to have a decider in this men's doubles final good response from Astrup well, and Rasmussen Astrup having and Rasmussen. lost the uh, opening game in very frustrating One fashion from their all. point of view 42 minutes into this final, and we are one game all.
20 seconds, 20 seconds. Change it. Final game. Level. Play. One. Low. Stuff. It was almost how low can you go? And those shots literally Two. brushing the tape. Lock. Seth Kier doesn't get you so God will. Seven silver, one, two. One, two, play. Seven silver, three, one. Well, it's Two, contagious. Three. Remember, seeing as many service errors as this in a final. Both pairs. You have to speed it up. This is the last call. So, Four, final two, warning no. from umpire Fabio Better. Next time it'll be no, a yellow card. They are okay. Play. Service over five, six.
Seven, six. Long. Seven, silver. Seven, eight. Just gone wide, but huge credit to all four men on court. Even the umpire breaks out a smile. Thank you. Change the shutter, change it, change it. Nine, eight. <laughs> and a thank you to the crowd. You think they might have spotted it, but anyhow. Ten, nine, black. Well, 
that'll take him to the mid-game break with a two-point lead, but it's still far from done, and uh, terrific entertainment in this first final today, the men's doubles. 11-9, Astrup and Rasmussen in the decider. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Yeah. Eleven nine. Play. Look to have got their mojo back a little bit, Astrup and Rasmussen. <laughs> Just couldn't get a position where he could get that racket to the circle. <laughs> So Hawkeye called on for the first time in this uh, deciding game. Pulled out and it was out by some three mile. That was uh, challenge the proverbial have a breather One challenge. challenge remaining. Service over 11.50 play. Astrid and Rasmussen at rally at one point.
they're going to get any joy with this one. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. Service over, 18, So three more points 12. for Astrup and Rasmussen. One. They get the job done here. Just hit the hour mark in this final. Championship 21. <laughs> Loving the dance from Rasmussen, and you've got to give credit for Pierre and Sogar, who somehow took the first game from five game points down, but in the end, just a slightly superior quality of the number three seeds won the day. It is their first World Tour title for two years. Sweat bounds as well. To come back from the huge disappointment of having five game points in the opening game and not securing that, even more creditable in terms of uh, mental strength. In truth, the decider was relatively one-sided, certainly the latter part of it was. Twenty five, twenty three, sixteen, twenty one, twenty one, twelve, and uh, the match time one hour and two minutes. So we're going to have the presentation shortly this men's doubles I'd say don't give up the day job but it was uh, very music <laughs> yeah that's it that's it that you see that's how you get on with the locals you make it topical topical celebrations we like that and the crowd here is good crowd in on this Sunday are very appreciative of the match they've just enjoyed it's just the first of five.
That'll be on all kinds of websites later on today, I would imagine. So they're just assembling the presentation party. Other than the prize money, 9,200 points. Very valuable points as well for the winners. Runner-up pair picking up 7,800. Thank you. Bear, I think it's bear, isn't it? On that, I see. I knew they were going to get hats. I knew they were going to get hats. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. The prize money chips are awarded for men's doubles and will be presented by Jim Sakamakis, vice president, head of a branch network, Western Region. Check for the runners up for just shy of sixteen thousand dollars US. And the men's doubles champions just over thirty-three thousand. Posing for a few photos. Prize presenters, thank you very much. Players, please stay for four players. Please stay for four.
So congratulations to Astrup and Rasmussen. Coming up next, it'll be the women's doubles. Top seeds, Matsuyama and Shida against fellow countrywomen Matsumoto and Nagahara. That's in just a couple of minutes. Well, a warm welcome back to Calgary. And we've reached the second of our five finals today. And this time it's the women taking centre stage. Women's doubles, an all-Japanese affair, as you can see, between Nami Matsuyama and Shiharu Shida up against Nami 